Hi, thank you. So actually today I want to talk about why creating chances or changing something actually calls for breaking rules. Um, when Anita invited us basically to speak here, I was very honored, but at the same time quite surprised because the only fashion product that Edition F has ever launched is this t-shirt, the t-shirt I'm wearing today, and probably no fashion brand ever is like a one product uh, success. But this t-shirt for us is actually not a fashion item, but much rather actually the piece that transformed Edition F into a brand that's profitable. Um, pretty much one year ago, Edition F was at a point where we're thinking about exiting the company, selling it to like some major publishing house, but all the offers were actually not particularly good. But on the other hand, we were missioning, talking to so many investors, and we felt like the last soldier um, because no one wanted to give us any more money, even though our numbers were developing so positively. So there was kind of no way we could move forward. And we were sitting there with our team and thinking about all kinds of things. Of course, it was clear we couldn't rob a bank, one, one option, but we had to walk a new path. So we stood there and we had to understand we had to become creative and we were thinking about what we could do. Um, we are a media company, as Ole has just told you. We have an online magazine and a digital community and we were thinking about what do we do already and what can we change basically so our community comes on board and all the spirit that we feel every day in our emails will also bring in revenue because that's eventually what you need to move into the future. So what we did is we were looking critically at everything that we did and we did something that's called webinar, so like online education, people sign up, they join the, or they sit in front of their computers at 7 o'clock on a Tuesday. That's not scalable and nothing, even though the feedback was very positive and we came up with the Female Future Force, a digital coaching program that runs for 52 weeks. Everyone who knows this, is, um, it's a one-year program. Every week we're going to inspire you, we're going to bring you forward, we're going to give you the skills, the best coaches, just basically to reach your own personal goal, whatever this is. So we knew we couldn't go traditional ways because investors didn't give us money and just starting to sell something would probably not work. So we needed that big, big bang thing. And we decided to do a crowdfunding video. So we all gathered the team. We went to Hamburg. We did a launch event for Edition F. We all wore those t-shirts. And we, and we created a video that basically made people understand, OK, that's a movement. It's not just buying a t-shirt or a coaching. It's a movement. I want to be part of empowering women. And it worked out. So basically within six weeks, that's how long the, um, the crowdfunding ran, we had made 381,241 euros, which is quite a, quite a huge amount actually. We were having a gap of 150,000 at the time, which we didn't get from investors, and now we had this amount of money from 3,161 3, uh, supporters. By now, it's almost a year ago, we have 8,789 supporters. I spare you the exact amount what it is. I can say we are profitable, and that's probably like the most happy announcement that can even make, because this is like lifting you up, and it gives you all the freedom to create. Having that financial burden is probably one of the most painful things that you can experience as an entrepreneur, because you feel like you're shut down. But actually, it's the moment where you can raise your voice and find your inner creativity and just speak louder than ever before. Um, but we're not only profitable, but we created also a community. And you see, this T-shirt has traveled the world. It's worn by so many people. And it like, really gives me goosebumps just thinking about it and wearing it every day that I do. I want to share three learnings from this journey that we had last year. The first is, if you have a community, listen to it. And if you don't have a community, find the community. What this means is you have to, you have to really listen closely. People will tell you what they like. People make you understand what they value um, when, when they um, use your product or when they are in touch with your brand. So just listen. Don't just do what you want to do. Listen to them, find out what they need, and then go for it, because then you really reach their hearts, and it's going to be a success. The second thing is don't buy success created. Nora and I, probably like many people in the startup industry here in Berlin, thought going out, chasing investors, pitching, doing like all kinds of prom promises in terms of how scalable the business is, how fast we can reach that profit till break even. 
um, this is like what we have to do. It's like almost buying success. You have the money from the investor, but this is actually not making revenue. This is not telling your story, and this is not making your business successful. What it is is the creative energy that is creating something people like, people want to sustainable use or want to be in touch with. And that's why I think your thoughts are much more important than actually the money from the investors. So forget about them or at least don't rank them as highly as you might do. And the third thing is trust your own skills and use them boldly. I think all of you know what your skills are. You, you know your USP and if you don't, ask others. Get the feedback, get an understanding of what people like and then also gather your team. We were at the time, I think 18 people and we were sitting together not really thinking where to move but we knew we are a strong team, we have the power sitting all around the table and that's what we have to do. That's why I can only tell you, listen, create, and trust are like the three key things if you want to move forward, whether you want to start a business, you want to rebrand, you want to digitalize, whatever your goal is, I think these three things are super important when you want to make the next move. But actually, what this shows is also now being on fashion tech, that a tiny piece of fashion, a very simple t-shirt can be much more and it can tell a story, it can start a movement, but everything you have to do, whatever you do, is simply start. Thank you very much. <laughs>